Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first of hopefully many installments of motorbikes on the channel as well. Today you join me and Gareth Potter for a very exciting day. Gareth, what are we up to? So first off, this is our 500 pound bike challenge. Both of these bikes are dirt cheap. So what we're gonna do at first is we're gonna have a grand reveal of each one, run through the quirks of each of our bikes. Then we're gonna take them for their first ride on a road. Maiden I, voyage. Exactly, <laughs> I've done zero miles and Alex has done zero miles on these bikes. So this is gonna be a bit scary. And then we're gonna ride out to Koti Bar where Ben is gonna formally assess how terrible these bikes actually are. Amazing, so why don't we get started with the grand reveal. And remember, I don't know what Gareth has bought. Gareth does not know what I have bought, but you can see that my bike is very big. What do you mm. think it is? I was thinking Harley because of this and just the, the frontal area. Yeah. It's so big. Yeah. It's grand. Well, you would be wrong. Oh. Shall I reveal it? Well, hold on. What's, what do you reckon that is? Oh, okay. Sports bike, classic Gareth. I'm going to say <laughs> Honda VFR, something like that. What? Yeah. The same sort of region. Yeah. All right. Okay. Here we go. I'm ready. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> wait. She's so big. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. What okay, do you okay. think? <laughs> oh, it's a BMW. I, wow. Yeah. That's actually cool. Yeah. Because if you look at the engine, it's like a sideways one. So this oh. is a three cylinder BMW. Okay. Uh, direct drive, so no chain. I take it it doesn't sound like a Triumph. No, it sounds like a BMW K75, which is what this <laughs> is. I paid Gareth 400 pounds. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, that's under budget, right? Pretty good going, yeah. Okay. So quirks and features. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it's like to ride because I haven't actually ridden it. I know that it goes into first gear. Uh, we've got big panniers here. So it's like a travel exploration motorbike. The mileage, 86,000. Oh, yeah. That's incredible. Yes. That actually beats mine. It um, says it has ABS, but we don't I, know if that works because you've I, not ridden it. I doubt it's got abs. Okay. Yeah, I don't even have abs. But the thing that I like most about this bike is it's a touring bike. It's also a BMW. So what I've done is I've bought myself another BMW touring. I've also noticed you can't actually see anything. No, I'm going to have to ride on the piss, I think. Do you want to have a little I do. Little listen? I do. Give it to me. Sure it turns on. Wait. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Oh, oh, it's this button here. The oh. green button. Whoa! Oh! What? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? What do you think? I think it's a massive hunk of junk and I love it. Okay, so a few more things. Yeah. Weight, well, it's about 235 kilos. Okay. Quite heavy. Okay. Uh, it's a 740cc, triple, like we said. Yep. 75 horsepower, although this is a 93 model, so I'd be happy with 50. And it comes with a manual. Oh, you'll probably need that. It's got a rider's handbook. Um, and it's got other bits in the sides there. We've got some spare. Uh, wing mirrors, which is always nice. Oh, you'll need them when you're knocking trucks out the way. Yeah. Yep. Shall we move on to your to your um, Honda VFR? Yeah, okay, right. While Gareth and I argue about who's bought the better bike for 500 pounds, a reminder from me that if you want to buy a used car or bike, make sure you run a car vertical report on it first to make sure it's not been crashed, stolen, or clocked. If we take a quick look at the car vertical report for this 2.7 Porsche Boxster, you can see that it's got green ticks for mileage, theft, accidents and finance. That means that this car does not have a hidden past. For an example of a car vertical report that causes me concern, take a look at this BMW motorbike because they do motorbikes as well. You can see we've got green tick for mileage, green tick for theft, green for finance, but an amber warning for accidents. So we need to check that out. If we scroll down and then the damage report, Oh, category B write-off, which means it cannot be repaired. Body shell has to be crushed, etc. And sometimes on car vertical as well. In the reports, you get pictures. And as you can see, the bike is so bad that it's not even able to be on its side stand. So the bike is in very, very, very poor shape. The front and rear wheels have been completely demolished. I mean, this has had a very big accident. It looks like it's flipped a few times. So yeah, as we know, this is a category B write-off motorbike. So definitely, one to avoid if it ever appears on Facebook Marketplace. So then again, if you're in the market for a used car or a used motorbike, make sure you run a car vertical report on it first. What's more, you will get 10% off using the code AutoAlex. Right then, let's check out these bikes. 
Have I got it right? It is a Honda VFR, right? No, it's not. But it's from the same region. Okay. So, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, so exciting. Yeah? 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 Can I open them? Open your eyes. What do you reckon? It's a Suzuki Bandit it's 600. Oh, you guessed it. Wow, that's really, really bad. Yeah, it's, it's awful. So oh, some no. of the some of the cool features of this bike that is worth 600 pounds. Sit, you paid 600 pounds. I paid 600 pounds. pounds for this dog. So quirk. Yes. Remus silencer held on with Jubilees. Perfect. Yeah. I've got heat wrap because race car. Yes. Obviously, it came with not much oil. So I had to put more oil in it. Tires on the front are about eight years old. Okay. Normally you get rid of them when they're about five. Oh, wow. Yeah. And one of my favorites actually is if it'll start. So yes, trouble starts. Okay, okay. right, yeah. Oh, oh, that sounds all right. Yeah, yeah. Sweet as a nut, uh, mate. Some sweet as something. Oh, keyless entry. Let me have a little seat. Give it a bounce. Whoa. Oh, oh no! And the rebound that on the the rear, uh, rebound on the rear shock is completely finished, so it it slowly oh, just what? rises. Which one would you feel less safe on? I think I would rather lie down on a train track in central London for half an hour than ride this. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather be in the back of a bin lorry. Should we um, get on the public road? They are taxed, they are insured, so why not give it a bloody good go? Do we need helmets where we're going? I don't think it's going to help, do you? There we go. Yeah? There we go, there's first gear. There is first gear, the clutch is very, very high. I do reverse gear. Oh, oh God, oh God. Woo. Yeah! Oh my God, we're on the road. We are on the road. Oh my oh, God. This is worrying. <laughs> yeah, look oh. at us go. I think I actually need to stand up so I can see over the uh, actual windscreen. How's your suspension? Really, really soft. And Excellent. <laughs> right, I don't know, is that my? Oh no, oh, that is so disgustingly loud. I think that's a car horn. <laughs> It's a proper two-tone one, isn't it? Yeah. I'm really, really scared because these tires are super old and we're yeah. on a very wet road. That sounds like a racing driver excuse to me. But this bike actually sounds quite good. Let me let me full chat next to you. Yeah, go on. Oh. Oh. Right, if you stay right, let me yeah. do a full chat next to you. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Oh. Very good. So what are your first impressions? Um, actually less terrifying than I thought would evolve. Well, I thought there would be, considering the age, the tires, and everything that I think is wrong with it. I am actually quite impressed with the BMW. What's the suspension like? Very, very soft. <laughs> very, very, I mean, it is a touring bike after all. How are your brakes in actual fact? Well, I mean, it stops. Yeah. Which is, which is quite a nice thing considering <laughs> it does weigh 200 and something kilos. How the f do you work these uh, indicators? Oh. Oh, 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 I just crashed into it. Yeah, I just crashed into your panniers. Okay. Where is, how do you cancel this? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be noted that it's very novel that we can actually talk to each other because we've got these really cool little intercoms uh, from a company called RNG that do loads of bike stuff, bike protection. And um, yeah, they hooked us up with these. So thank you very much to RNG for sorting that out. Yeah, it means that everyone watching the channel will get uninterrupted comments for the whole of the video. Well, no, we have separate mics for that. It means that we can actually talk to each other. <laughs> Otherwise, we would be shouting at each other. Right, we're taking a left. <laughs> oh, f I don't know if you noticed, but it's raining quite a lot. I, I, my crotch area definitely noticed. I've picked a very good day for it. Oh yeah, this is a corker. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, my waist is so cold with it, <laughs> where the jacket is dribbling water onto it. <laughs> right, so Gareth, why don't you tell everyone where we're going and what we're doing now? So we are going to go to Coty, I'm going to park up next to you, um, and they are going to give our bikes a full checking over, because I don't think this passed 
an MOT properly. So it really gonna, shouldn't have done, should it? Yeah, they're going to tell us everything that's wrong with our bikes. Yeah. Uh, which I'm quite looking forward to, to be honest. And I think it would be fun if they gave us a score out of 10 <laughs> for roadworthiness. Yeah, Do you think, think while idea. we're there, he can give both bikes a full restoration? <laughs> I think it's going to take more than a few hours to restore these pieces of shit. <laughs> oh, it's, it's quite a silky smooth engine, this, this straight four. You know, I've, I've never owned a bike with four cylinders. Do you know what? I've never owned a bike. <laughs> <laughs> True story. That's actually, that is your first bike. This is my first bike. Oh, oh no. my, wow, look oh, at this. Oh, my oh, feet, my feet, my feet, my feet. Oh my God. Oh, that was horrendous. Oh, 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 oh my bum is so, it's so wet. Yeah, my ass is also oh, quite my soaked. God. Right, so Gareth, we've done about 20 minutes of riding. Uh -huh. what are your, um, what's your summary so far? Uh, pretty good. For such a dirt cheap price, pretty damn good. Yeah. Oh, there's some beautiful bikes. I'm oh. going to park next to the prettiest one. Well, we've definitely got the cheapest bikes here. Oh, oh I can feel the water squelching oh, in my toes. Oh, well, we survived. Yeah, that was all right for a maiden voyage. Yeah. Well done, we, we lived. Oh. Do you want a oh. hug? I, I want a hug because we lived in my... Oh, look at you! <laughs> I know, <laughs> I'm so wet. <laughs> I was so weird. We did well. Yeah. We did well. Right I did, then. Oh, I think what we need it. to do now is go in there, speak to Ben, dry off, and have a coffee. Yeah? Good idea. Let's Good go. Good idea. Should we wheel him in? No, let's just speak to them first. Oh, oh God. I need what? a hairdryer for my balls. So wet. <sighs> So we've just made it to Koti Auto Tally. As you can see to my right is Ben, who is the founder and owner of this beautiful establishment. Before we actually get my beautiful motorcycle, AKA Klaus, on the ramp and then you give it a score out of 10, uh, tell us what you do here. Here we have a cafe. We've got a lot of clothing on sale. We've got the workshop that we're stood in at the moment where we perform a lot of restoration, renovation, a bit of customization and a bit of service every now and again. Ben, first impressions of my beautiful BMW, AKA Klaus. Missing a few bits, but generally they're pretty solid bikes. All right, so what's the next step? Should we get it on the ramp and then you can do your thing or do you want to do it on the ground? No, we can go on the ramp, yeah. Let's go on the ramp. What are you thinking? What are your first impressions, Ben? For the money, good bike. You look like a man who wants to give me a grand for this right now. So they do convert these into cafe racers, don't they? Oops. Yeah, yeah. Few, few go into scramblers, few go into cafe racers. They look very strange at first because the frame is absolutely massive on them. If you think about how long the back end is there, yeah. the actual frame, it looks like you fit three people on them. Oh. Why don't people in Thailand have these? Yeah, they should. They're struggling with both heads. So exactly. Do you remember we saw like seven people on one moped? We literally saw a whole family. You've got a very expensive rad on there. Do I? Yeah. Oh. Is it? No clue what it oh, is, just but it one. is big. It's beefy. And it is brand new. That is new, yeah. See, I mean, this is these are the things that I look for when I buy motorcycles for myself. Is it got a brand new radiator? Yes, check. So, so far, Ben, quite a good deal? I would say so, apart from the frame being horrendous. Obviously, the front suspension's a bit... What do you mean, frame being horrendous? Mm, it could be a little bit corroded it's, under it's there, rusty. but... It's a BMW, of course it's rusty. There's a new-ish YSS shock on the back there, so as much as your front doesn't work, the back should be pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got a new rad on there, so you've already... That's what you've bought. Have I doubled my money? I would have thought so. Excellent. Score out of 10 for this, for roadworthiness? Versus the money, or just flat out roadworthiness? Let's say sub 1,000 pound motorcycle. Roadworthiness. Seven. <gasps> Seven! Oh. Would you drive this motorbike cross country? Rory, you don't drive motorcycles. Ride this <laughs> motorbike cross country. Flat yeah. out. <gasps> I'll shake my hand. Should I go get my piece of crap? Yes, let's Should do wheel it. wheel it in. Okay, let's do that. So my immediate impressions when the guy rolled out of the van was, what a piece of shit. What are your immediate impressions of such a machine? It looks okay. There's a lot of black rattle can paint all over <laughs> yes. it, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite oily and grimy there. You could it? say that that's protection. Okay, yeah, 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 rust proofing. Yeah, you I like can't tell whether it's got no oil or too much oil. It doesn't have very much oil. So it's got no oil. Probably. Not. Okay. Yeah. It looks like a bike that you could have fun on. Oh, I thought you were going to stop there. It no. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a bit worse a condition than the BMW. Yeah. Corrosion-wise. 
promotion. <laughs> and that's a BMW, so that's saying something. The disadvantage to the BMW is you obviously can't get inside and look at that, look at the shaft that's in there and everything else. And... Don't need to, it's perfect. So uh, Ben, same question to you. You've obviously had a look around this bike as well. For yep. a sub £1,000 motorcycle, what is your road worthiness score out of 10 for this? I'd give it six. Oh. And I was right up there with a nine and a half. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Old, older tyres, more corrosion. Yeah. There's a lot of very strange bolts all over it. So if you had to take either one of these bikes on a cross country jaunt on a Sunday afternoon, bit of rain, bit of nice weather, which one are you taking? If it was a bit of rain, the BMW. If it was a lot of rain? The BMW. <laughs> if it was no rain, probably the Bandit. Okay, so a relatively cleanish bill of health for both motorcycles. Yep. Uh, they do need some work. They probably need, realistically, about a grand spending on it. I think tires and brakes. Your brakes are fine. You just need really to grab bad. it more harshly. Uh, so, Ben, thank you very much no for checking over our bikes, giving them a very clean bill of health, and also for agreeing to buy them once we've done the second episode. A thousand pounds and 900 quid debt. I'll doubt you around. <laughs> anyway, if you guys want to come check out a really cool place for coffees, for servicing, for clothing, all the rest of it. And they also sell mutts. You're like the mutt man. Mutt dealer for the mutt area. Dealer. Yeah. He's a mutt dealer. Then check out Coty. It's a great place. And the, uh, all the hot chocolates, they just hit different, don't they? Pretty <laughs> thick. Right then, that is now the end of episode one of our 500 pound budget bike challenge. Thank you very much to the guys at Coty for checking over our bikes. Thank you very much to our bikes for actually getting us here. Are you surprised? I am very surprised. There were a few stages I thought oh, I was gonna die. But Indeed. We're here. Indeed. Uh, make sure that you join us for the second episode uh, of this budget bike challenge because these bikes are gonna be transformed. We are going to go on a track. We are going to go off-roading and we are going to go adventuring as well. So make sure you subscribe if you wanna see all of that action and more. From us, thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye bye. Right, we need to get these pieces of shit home now. In the pouring rain. Tell you what, should we just leave them here? Yeah, let's go. Run, 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 run.